How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel today. So today we're going to continue reacting to Hunter Hunter. So things are getting really, really nice and spicy now. We've got Trick Tower, which is just is so awesome. It looks like Gon is now stepping up to fight who he... Well, we don't really know who this guy is. He looks quite skinny, but we know that they want to delay the time for all the guys to get through to the next part because, he's, you know, the, the longer that they can delay them, the, 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 the shorter their sentences will be reduced. We saw the last guy going up against Tonpa. I think is his name Tonpa? Tenpa? Tonpa. We're going to go with Tonpa. And he was challenged to a death match. So, I mean, this goes to show you how crazy this is. So I'm really looking forward to see what's going to go up. It is the, is our best out of three, I believe, or the first two, three is one of the two. So this is going to be really interesting to see who else is going to end up fighting. Who are they going to play? Are they going to put Killer up there? Going to put Laori up there? Kuropiki? Like, who are they going to have match up without really any information? So I'm really excited to get into this. I'm loving where this show is going. You know, it's just... It's a little, it feels a little bit different in terms of like, it, it feels like all these tests are so random and really unique and fun and inventive. So I'm really liking where this is going. Guys, so we can hit 500 likes on this video. I'll go ahead and record the reaction to the next episode. So if you do want to see that, make sure you hit that like button down below. Also, if you want to see the full uncut early access versions of these videos while we are weeks ahead, my Patreon is live and down in the description below. They've improved audio and visuals, but it also includes everything else like Naruto, uh, Haikyuu, uh, Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, and everything else. If you want to be a part of that, the link is down below. Also, I've got a Discord as well. So you guys want to come and hang out, meet other people in the community. The link to my Discord is down in the description below. And lastly, I also do stream over on Twitch. So if you guys want to come and hang out live, the link to my Twitch down in the description below. All right, guys, well, that's it. Let's get straight into this shit. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get it. A simple game. Hmm, that's an interesting game. One's bigger than the other. You'd probably want the longer one. And even this decision is making them waste time too, right? I mean, they just look like normal candles. One's just longer than the other. There's no real information to base it on, so you kind of just have to go with gut, right? Yeah, that's what I would have gone for. <laughs> this is going to be really interesting because how are they going to try and attack each other? Because he's not going to want to. He wants to have things long as you know last as long as they can. But there is a draft behind them. Ooh. <laughs> you would be suspicious, obviously. You gotta remember it's not in his interest to have it end, remember? Oh, it's burning way bigger. Jesus. Damn, what do you do? Four candles. Oh, geez, that was clever, man. Fair play to him, but... Ugh. He can leave it there. And he can attack him. There you go, he won! <laughs> there you go. I did think he could attack the other person. <laughs> Alright. Let's see who's next then. Who's, who's the next challenger? And who will we have go up against them? This dude is blue. And he looks jacked. Wait, let's figure out who this guy is first. We want to put the best people up against the other. Like, who's suited? 
I feel like deciding who's going to go up against them without knowing who you're fighting is a bad decision. But then he is a clever boy. And he is absolutely jacked. Okay, this dude just looks serious. Like, I don't know what he's drank so much of or what's happened to him to make him that color. But I would be shitting bricks right now if I saw that dude. But you know what? Uh, Kurapika is a smart dude. I, I believe in him despite the clear abnormal differences in size that was wicked from god as well good thinking interesting it just goes to show that this show does just keep coming up with these weird ideas like you when you think of shonen battles and you know like uh, test arcs and stuff like that you don't think of tests with like candles and whatever you think of like fights so it just is a testament to show how good this show is and i'm really enjoying it i mean look at the size of this dude man <laughs> it is. Oh, God. Oh, he wants to make our boy the 20th. Nah. Okay, now I'm curious to see what he's going to do. Is it going to be just a death match? He clearly wants to kill him. Nah, our boy's not scared. Straight up. He didn't give a shit, man. Oh, my guy looking like he wants to fight in his pajamas right now. I know it's not his pajamas, but you know what I mean. Oh, he's like, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Anything else? Straight up. He is in his head now. <laughs> I mean, this dude is scary. Thing is, when we saw his sentences, it didn't say anything about murder, did it? It just said, like, blackmail and other crimes. So I don't know if he really is a serial killer. I mean, he might well be. I mean... Hmm? What does that mean? The Phantom Troop. Is that the people that took his family or something? Well, like, tried to kill his people? If that's the case, he's going to want revenge. Oh, if that is the case, and he is partly responsible. Yep, there we go. Look at those eyes, man. Oh, he's gone. Oh, oh my. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Kurpik is a savage. I was going to say anyone can get a tattoo. They would have killed so many, I imagine. Oh, my boy is mad. Oh, shit. Man, I tell you what, Kurapika was the best choice here. Damn, I was wrong. Damn, my boy came in there. Jeez. There, they have to win this one. Mm, this person seems quite small. Ah, oh, 
Lero might be my favorite, you know, so this will be interesting. They can do this, we're done. Oh, I... Yes, let's see how he does under pressure, you know. What's really cool there is we kind of got to see a little bit underneath of what Karapika's got going on in there. You know, there is that kind of a hidden rage boy in there. Like, we know that, like, obviously he's really, really smart and... You know, he's he's obviously quite talented to get where he's gotten to, but we know that deep down that there is this trauma within him and that whenever now we know this, if he gets tapped into like that, it just reminds you that there's this other art going on. Of course, they all want to become hunters and that's the thing, but there are individual motivations, you know, and that just reinforces that. All right, big man, let's see what you got. I think he might be my favorite character, man. I, I heard that apparently I think his voice actor has passed away, which is really sad. I don't know if that is true, but yeah, that would be sad. But it's oh, What? It's not settled. He surrendered. And got beaten. But didn't he say he gave up though? I'm sure he did surrender though before Krapik beat the shit out of him. So now they're gonna have to ask him to go and commit murder essentially? It's true. Oh, Hisoka. Is he on his own or has he got teammates? Whenever he's on screen, it's so... Something magic, you know? Hmm? <laughs> It's okay, he's just so chill, man. Yeah, that animation was mad. Uh, Hisoka might be the most one of the most interesting characters I've seen in anime for a while. There's just something about him, like, I'm not sure if he's good or bad, or if he's both, you know? I doubt he dies. Oh, he caught them. Oh, now you're in trouble. Oh, God. This guy is mad. Honestly, like, his soak is really weird. I mean, it's like, he has these nice moments, like, when he brought Leorio back up uh, to the, I think it was, like, the, the, the Phase 2 site. But then he feels no regret about people, like, taking someone's head off or killing a bunch of people. But... Anytime we've seen him do something like that, it's normally when he's been attacked. We've not really seen him out go out of his way to attack anyone. So I kind of feel like I'm going to, for now, kind of make the judgment that I don't think he is necessarily a bad person. Now, I'm sure he's done some messed up shit in the past. But at the moment, it seems like he gets targeted a lot. So I don't know. Maybe because he's just so talented, so strong, he just has a big target on his back. I don't know. But he does feel that way. So he didn't need a team. So he obviously had a different set of rules applied to him. I think he might be faking it, you know. Or dead. This is part of it, isn't it? They take a bet if he's actually dead or not. It depends on which one of them two win. Don't like it. Just refuse the bet. That's really risky. I don't know about that. Oh, 
<笑>なんだあいつ散々死んでるんじゃねえかとか言っておきながら<笑>それじゃあいいわ確認して He's alive So he got it right ね、気絶してるだけでしょ確かになあいつこのままずっと目覚めないかもしれないぜ残り時間あいつがずっと起きなかったらそれだけで72年分のケーキが縮まるあ、クラピカ、can you not finish him off please dude? あいつがずっと起きなかったら俺たちだから言ってるだろあいつら最初からそのつもりで We knew this こいつが本当に気絶してるかどうかかけようぜ Truly unconscious なるほど俺が目覚めた時そばにあったメモを Oh, they are clever people but Leora, you may have just come in with the big one, boy. I think you may have done it. Oh, my boy. Oh, I thought that was the case. Oh. Oh, shit. That's true. Oh, it's a double. Oh. You can't change it. Nah, man, you can't change it like that. That's unfair, right? Oh, Jesus. That's a good point. I forgot about that. I still think it's a bit weird that she was able to change her decision like that. Oh, man, Laoro came through there. God damn. Oh, he's such a such a Chad. Oh man, that actually might have been one of my favorite episodes. Just like it had everything in it. It had kind of like trickery, deception, you know, clever thinking and outside of the box kind of episode y like vibes. I really like when the show is going. You can never really put your finger on it. It keeps you guessing. And the thing is, it's normally something that you didn't guess. And on the other occasion, you do get it. You get that kind of like warm feeling on the inside of that. You've got it. I have no idea how many other stages there are going to be inside trick tower if they are to progress from here my prediction is that Leora will probably end up losing his last two points and then we'll end up relying on Killua to, to, to get us through I think we'll see but that's my prediction guys if we can make this video hit 500 likes I will make sure I go and react to the next episodes but it is all down to you so if you want to see those videos make sure you hit that like button and as always if you want to see the full uncut early access versions of these videos way before they hit YouTube my Patreon is live and down in the description below but until next time guys take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one peace